Hey guys, welcome to the next video in the Max Script video series. And today we are going to talk about variables. So, as the name suggests, anything that is not constant is a variable. And if you might have done a little bit of scripting or programming, you might be very well acquainted with the concept of variables. So, usually when you declare a variable, you uh, associate a data type with it. Like, uh, let's say, int x, for example. But in Max Script, what we can do is, we can just say x equals 1. So basically, we are creating a variable with a variable name x and assigning it a value. Uh, similarly, we can say y equals uh, a string. So now that we have two variables, how do we determine what type of variable it is? So there is a function provided by Max called class of, and it takes in an argument. So if we provide class of x, then it'll say it's an integer. If we say class of y, then it's a string. Similarly, uh, let's talk about uh, an object. So let's talk about a teapot. So we say tp is equal to teapot, and we have a teapot created right here. And now if we say class of tp is going to be teapot. So if you see in the command panel, uh, basically if you go to the geometry tab, you can create a teapot from the geometry. So if we want to check up to two uh, classes, then we can say super class of tp. It says geometry class. Similarly, what we are going to do is, let's take another variable and uh, we'll create a circle this time. So cr is equal to circle and we have a circle created so what i'm going to do next is i'm going to start using the editor a bit more and we have a function here uh, named print class which takes in an uh, argument of an object and it prints out the object's uh, class and the super class we will talk about creating and using functions in the next few videos but for now uh, we will just use this function let's say print class cr so basically it says it's a circle the first class of it the basic the basically class of the circle is circle and super class is shape similarly we are going to create another uh, object like uh, let's say point so we create a point and i'm just going to you know move these objects a bit and we have a point here and i'm going to say print class of pt uh, the class is point and the super class is helper. Next, we create, uh, we have created, we, we can create a light. So, we'll create the omni light itself. So, and it creates an omni light and we say print class of LG. The class is omni light and the super class is light. So, if you see that you have a geometry and you have teapot here, so when we create a teapot, the class is teapot and the super class is geometry class. You have a shape where we have a circle, so the class is circle and the super class is shape. Then we have light in which we have uh, the omni light, the class is the omni light and the super class is light. Then we have helpers. The class is, we created a point helper, so the class is point and a super class is helpers. Now we can also create a camera, so cam is equal to camera and it's basically, I have not written the class properly. So what we need to do is we have to write free camera and it creates a free camera and we can print class of cam and it will give us the class is free camera and the super class is camera. So now that we know how we can find out the class and the superclass of uh, objects, what you can do is you can go on finding the class of the respective uh, parent classes. What I mean by that is, let's assume we have this function called class of, and I already had a teapot stored in a variable called tp. Now I can just say class of teapot. It's a geometry class. 
Now, what is the class of uh, geometry class? It is node. What is the class of node? The class of node is max wrapper. And you can just say max wrapper. And the class of max wrapper is value. And the class of value is value again. So guys, uh, basically, if you want to see a tree on how these objects have been derived, you can simply uh, use this function called class of, and you can provide it with the uh, argument, and you will get the whole list of uh, classes. So if I have to talk about the hierarchy, so the tree part is derived from the geometry class, which is derived from the node class, which is derived from the max wrapper class, which is derived from the value class. So now that we were talking about variables, it was important for us to understand that a variable will always have a data type associated with it, which is already being done by CD Studio Max. For now, I think this is a basic idea of you know what a variable is and how you can assign values to it and fetch the data type of the specific variable. So that is it for the video and thank you so much for watching.